It is a unique event because it's the first time the Benedictine colleges and universities have actually started getting together on an annual basis, representatives of these schools. Here at Benedictine, we came up with the 10 hallmarks that were submitted to the committee, and those uh, took, <laughs> they, they began being used. Colleges, universities, and later high schools began to adapt these and found them to be a very helpful tool. Over the last 10 years, we've had people from all the different schools coming, sharing their ideas of how they've embedded those hallmarks in curriculum and in everyday life on each of the campuses. And that was the main goal. Benedictines are, historically, they're kind of individual. Each monastery does their own thing, and consequently each institution is kind of doing their own thing. So this conference is meant to sort of break down some of these barriers, and I think it's done a good job of that. It allows people to not just exchange ideas, but look at how they see Benedictine life from the point of view of people who are not wearing these habits. And kind of meeting the needs of those people in the churches of the classroom, the churches of student life, all kinds of people on campus who touch students' lives in all kinds of ways to share their common Benedictine values and purpose. The presentations have been top-notch and the variety of conferences. It's also interesting to see the variety of institutions. How we go about it is very much reflected about by what the school itself sees as important. You know, the demographics of each place, the geography of each place, and even why those institutions were started in the first place are very, very different. So each person that comes in that represents a different school brings that piece with them to share with everybody else, and, and that's what makes it incredibly enriching. One of the things I, I really enjoy is the times I've been at the conference to see a new generation of people coming in. And although that gift was first received by St. Benedict 1,500 years ago, and now given to us, those who work at these different universities, to perpetuate that charism, that gift. So we have really been entrusted with an awesome responsibility to carry on that mission and vision. The conference has um, just been a, a kind of a generous meeting place for ideas and, and innovations as well as support. I think a lot more people are aware of those hallmarks and how we apply them and how we live them uh, because of the pedagogy conference. I would like to encourage um, more schools to come. I think it's a great opportunity and I think it's been so enriching and to, to realize you know, what a benefit it is. I want to thank everybody who supported this conference. To me, the greatest gift was the fact that we all want to be together. And so I thank everybody for that.